You want free horsepower? Well, obviously you do. That's why you're looking at me right now. tips and tricks how to free up some horsepower for you guys out there on a budget what am i talking about well you're going to notice it on the et board you're going to see it on the dyno let's get into this whoop all righty this is what we're going to be doing is your speed master intake these would be considered like hurricanes it's basically a dart wilson ripoff intake manifold this is the easiest one to go to because this is the most common one that everybody freaking ports now what i got going on is i'm waiting on that intake manifold to cure just looks like a performer rpm i can tell you it's not the reason why i'm not walking over to it is because i got all kinds of little trickery going on inside that intake manifold that i got epoxy drying so that i'm going to be calling my edelbrock performer x intake manifold i got a little something going on with kyle and steve morris that we're going to wait you guys will see this thing on the dyno up and running and we got some trickery that we're going to be doing and it has to be with a dual plane intake manifold but let's just say we're going to try to spin this thing 7,500, 8,000 RPM, but I'll show you that one in another time. So as I'm waiting for stuff to cure, this is what we're gonna be working on. Now for this one, this is going on a 421 small block Chevy, pump gas hydraulic roller setup. This is not gonna spin a tremendous amount of RPM. We are gonna establish a little bit better plenum inside here. And there's some pretty basic tricks that you can use to free up the horsepower. Now we are not doing a fully ported intake. I'm showing you the the meat and potatoes of you get this stuff out you're going to free up horsepower so this is going to get gasket matched to a 1206 it's already to a 1205 and then we are going to rework this area in here the main focus is going to be trying to take each port how we have this curve to it and imagine if we can start to straighten things out we're limited to how much material is inside the intake to be able to straighten things out so this is what we're going to do now if you look through here, what I want to focus on is this edge and this edge. The same thing all the way around. That wall, that wall, and you follow that all the way around. We want to straighten out the port. Now, also, is this edge through here. Think of it like a 90. Obviously, that's not a 90, but I want to get rid of this edge right in here. I want to have a smoother transition coming up into the pad itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to round these areas up. Anything that you feel that has an edge to it, we want to round that area up. What I don't want to do is round it up to the point where I'm flat against here. We want to have a smooth transition going into each port. We're going to go to a 1206. We just got to straighten out some of the ports that we already have on here. And you're, you don't need to go all the way in, you guys. You guys can go in about an inch, inch and a half. That's all you really need to do, okay? So you're just gonna use a Sharpie or you can use you know, a die, put your Sharpie marks on there, lay your gasket on there, you can tape it, you can hold it, whatever you need to do, line them up, scribe them out, and then that's gonna be your marks. Notice right through here where the port kind of rounds, it gets really narrow and then it fattens itself back up. What am I talking about? See what I'm saying right through there? All right, now, Let's go over to the other side that I've already kind of roughed up. Now look at the ports. See that big difference through here, how this port is nice and squared out. I've also rounded this edge. I've blended through here. That compared to that. See what I'm saying? Working these areas. These are gonna be your key areas. Now there's a lot more that we can work on, but guys, these are gonna be the main benefits that you're gonna see and not having to sit here for a month porting on this sucker. How do you blend this? What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your porting bit and as you can see it spin, it wants to spin clockwise. Okay, so what you're gonna do is when you grind on it, so you can see how it's spinning, it's gonna automatically wanna roll this way, right? So let it take it, Whoop. let it take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Don't go backwards on it. If you do, you're gonna start taking chunks out of this and you're not gonna get this to blend really nice. So you just let it, take it, Whoop. 
boom, boom, boom. That's all I'm worried about. That's how you blend that portion. And very, very crucial, do not scribble. What do I mean by scribbling? Scribbling would be going in here, we're grinding away, and you're just doing this back and forth scrapey shit. You're stopping here, you're stopping here. It's gonna grind in grooves on these corners. You'll see professional head porters sitting here doing this. What they're doing is they're going from here, it's spinning clockwise, so I'm biting, I'm letting up, coming back over. I'm biting, letting up, coming back over. To get started, pick the damn thing up, pick it back over, bring it back down, grind the line. After a while, you'll be able to just kind of let it skim the surface and then bite, and then skim the surface and bite. Don't scribble. Just like doing the gasket job on this side of it, you'll go past the line, and at that point, you've passed the point of no return, you screwed yourself, and you might have to buy a whole nother intake manifold. So, no scribbling. Got it all cleaned up, we are done. So we got this port match to a 1206. Like I said, you can see I went in about an inch, inch and a half in here. That's all pretty straightforward. And then here is the finished up plenum. Now, I didn't go down to the bottom. I didn't work the walls. I didn't do any of that. I went through exactly what I explained to you guys. This does make a big difference, you guys. I'm telling you right now, this makes a huge difference. So, that is what we're looking at now that we're all wrapped up and done. This shouldn't take you more than a weekend to be able to do. And the cool thing with this is you are gonna notice it on the dyno, you're gonna notice it on the ET board, I guarantee it. Now keep in mind as well, you are gonna have to fumble around with your tuning. Motor's a big air pump. If you can bring more air in and push more air out, well, it's gonna want more fuel, fire, timing. You're gonna have to mess around with your tune-up. It's not like bolt everything on, throw it back on, and you're good to go. Go to the track, do a little bit of track testing, and you'll be able to tweak even a little bit more out of the combination. I guarantee you're gonna drop some ET and gain some horsepower. So I hope this helped you guys out on this tech tip episodes. Hit me down in the comments if you enjoy these tech tip episodes, and I'll keep them going for you guys, all right? So until we meet again, hope to see you down at the drag strip. Take care, my friends. See ya.